Hey, Matron here again, going to bring you another replay. Uh, this time it's game two of the Scarlet Crusade Realm Tournament, round of 12. Uh, it's going to be best of three between Kathis and myself. Kathis is up one nothing after successfully eight-pulling me uh, on Steps of War. Uh, looking back at that game, I did a lot of things incorrectly. I didn't get a good wall off. Uh, I didn't build my buildings on time. Could have cut a few seconds off of the production of that first zealot if I had just been a little more crisp in my build. I think I was a little too reactionary to what he was going to do, or what I expected him to do, and obviously hadn't practiced enough at getting out that quick zealot. So this game, I'm going to try to be a little more crisp. It's a four-player map, so unless he does some good scouting, he may not find me as quickly. So we'll see how it goes. But on the ropes here, lose one more game, and I am out of it. And it would be a tremendous upset and I'm sure everybody would make fun of me. So, really concentrating this game and going to try to throw down everything on time. As soon as I have that 150 minerals going down that gateway, going to try to get out the Zealot as soon as possible and defend against these Zerglings, uh, which I expect again. Again, he's done an A pool. Pretty standard, uh, well, not standard, but standard for him. Uh, sending out the Overlord again. Looks like his first Overlord is going to this cross position probably want to send it up towards my position on Lost Temple, so we'll see if that comes into play at all. He, That's the, f the fastest scout. I'm going to get up my second gateway here. Try not to supply cap myself as I push out these zealots as well, so I want to make sure I get up a pylon uh, on time. But gateway's going to finish now. Should be pushing out a zealot as soon as possible, which I do. I uh, have chrono saved up, so I should be chrono boosting it. And these six Zerglings are heading out, so we'll see what he does with them. Uh, Kerna boosting that Zealot. I have the pylon down so that I can create a third Zealot and not be psychapped. Uh, starting the second Zealot up, and need to keep this Kerna boost on. Looks like he's going to the cross position with these Zerglings, so I may have a little bit of time before he gets here. I do have my first Zealot out, so I'll be ahead of last time. Second gateway is coming up and starting the Zealot out of there as well, Kerna boosting that. So I should have at least three Zealots up before he makes it to my base. He's He poked up in the cross position, didn't see anything. Now it looks like he's going for the 6 o'clock position, so he's going to get to me last. Uh, very fortunate on my part. I should have enough Zealots to to react to the uh, the six Zerglings. He's throwing down a spine crawler in his base. He's gotten up his queen. He's injected. Looks like he's getting up gas as well. Still not great harvesters. Uh, since he did throw down the 8 pool and the Zerglings. He's on 10 Harvesters, now 11 to my 17. So if I can just defend against his initial Zerglings here, try not to lose any Harvesters, I should have quite an advantage. I have Gas up as well, getting my Cybernetic score. And still chronoing out more Zealots. He's finally going to make it into my base with these Zerglings. He knows I'm here. But at this point he sees that I have 4 Zealots and probably going to back off, maybe leave these Zerglings outside my base for a bit of a scout. At this point, I haven't yet seen his base. Uh, it didn't bother scouting this time since I sort of knew he was going to do an 8 pool. So I'm scouting a little bit late and going to make it in here, be taken down by the Queen and the Spine Crawler. Looks like he's getting a Roach Warren, which I, am, I did not see. My probe did not make it into the back of his line. so. I still just see the spine crawler and the spawning pool. I'm not really sure what he's going to go for next. I'm going to throw down another two gateways, transition into uh, some sort of warp tech with four gateways. Still chronoing out more and more zealots. At this point, I kind of suspected that he might go for, you know, 18, 30 zerglings. Uh, so I'm going to wall off my my ramp here with the zealots, do a hold position, so that the zerglings can't do a run by and they'll just get chewed up by these zealots if they choose to attack. Looks like bad positioning on my buildings. Uh, this gateway should have left a little bit of crack here. I do have a zealot who's stuck here, so I just sunk a, a hundred, uh, hundred minerals into basically a, a zealot that can't do anything. Bit of a statue in the middle of my base, so maybe he can order around my probes, make sure they're mining correctly. Bit of a taskmaster, so I wouldn't be too scared of him since he can't get to me. Anyway, throwing up my second assimilator, and looks like I'm throwing up a forge as well. 
one thing you want to do against Zerglings with Zealots is you get that first plus one weapon attack upgrade and you will start two-shotting instead of three-shotting Zerglings with your Zealots. Looks like he's got a nice little ball of Zerglings here, his initial six, plus another six more, and he's transitioned to Roach Warren. So he's going to get the Tunneling Claws. Most players go for the movement speed on Roaches first, but it looks like with Burrow and Tunneling, tunne tunneling Claws, excuse me, uh, he's going to play play with some Roaches here, which are great against gateway units, so it's a good reaction to my four, four gates. Uh, he's caught up a little bit in Harvesters here. I haven't made as many Harvesters as I should. I only have 23. need to keep pu pushing them out here. And it looks like I'm going to do... my throw down an expansion here, or prepare for it. My warp tech is up, so warped in some stalkers and moving out with a small army, though compared to his quite large. I have 1200 and 200 is 550. He's got out his first two roaches. His upgrades will be completing quite shortly, by the time I can get to his base at least. Pretty good, uh, pretty good macro on his part. Not much energy on his queen. You'd like to see throw down a creep tumor here especially for the roaches as they're rather slow off creep. So if you're going to go for ground zerg play, you want to get this uh, this creep tumor down if you have excess energy, which he, he does have. Looks like those roaches are going to bury here. And just sitting outside of his base, I throw up a proxy. I'm going to uh, chrono the, the level 1 weapons here and going to push out with some immortals. So I have to continually warp in with my warp gates. Have a nice small army here. He's got burrowed uh, roaches, which I haven't yet seen. He's going to do a bit of a scout with this zergling. And going to try to make sure he can't get us around with this, these zerglings. Gonna throw down a, a force field here. Try to split his army a bit. Not great positioning on the force field. The zealots are going to go through these zerglings, though, quite quickly and going to attack these roaches. He's got the support of the spine crawler. I need to back away so I don't lose too many of these zealots. The roaches are tearing him up and now he's going to burrow. Uh, I just need to pull back here. Uh, I can't go up against the spine crawler, the queen, and all these roaches. So I'm going to pull back. Should be warping in more units. Looks like my immortal's about to join the fight. So that'll be great against these roaches, which are armored. Um, the immortal's going to three shot him, doing 50 ar damage to armored and 145 health on the roach with the, the Stalkers, which also do bonus damage to Armored. It'll be quite effective versus the Roach army, which he's now amassing. If you look at the army tab, uh, still 1,200 to 800, so I do have an advantage here. He's going to move out. I should have gotten a force field here to prevent uh, moving on his part, get a good bottleneck. One uh, bad part about Roaches is they they don't have a lot of range, so if you use that force field and force them into a small bottleneck, you can you can really do some good damage to them and they won't be able to attack. He's healing up with these roaches. So at this point I didn't know that... Uh, well, I guess I did know, because I had been pushing out an observer after I saw the initial uh, burrow up in his base. So these immortals are just going to plow through these roaches. He doesn't know that I have an observer here because he's still burrowing to try to heal up. Uh, if he does burrow, I'm just going to be able to focus these down. Uh, and at this point, I'm just going to be able to push in. He doesn't have much of an army left. This Observer and this Immortal uh, getting up their robotics quickly is going to be basically the MVP of this game because it perfectly counters Roach play. I can focus down the Spine Crawler now. Uh, I've gotten up an expansion and firm control of this game focus down the, uh, the lair. At this point I don't know if he has another hidden expansion. So I'm just going to focus down the lair and hope that uh, this does it. He GG's. And so I was able to defend against the the rush. Uh, four player map so the rush distance was a lot larger and he had to try to guess. Didn't do great scouting at the start. So I was able to get up a number of zealots and I played a much more crisper early game uh, with the two gateways getting out things on time, chronoing them, getting a pylon down so I wasn't uh, side-capped on that third zealot and was able to defend against the zerglings and go into more of a traditional four-warp gate uh, with Robo Bay play, which 
I'm pretty comfortable with, and then react with the mortals and observers against these roaches, take them down relatively easily. This is how I was hoping the first game would go, so now I've even the series 1-1. Stay tuned for game 3 of this best of 3 series between Kathis and Matron. Thanks for watching.